The electric motor has been an evolving technology for nearly 200 years. Moto flux ushers in the next generation of motor development. I firmly believe that motor flux is a world-changing invention because it is the next logical step in rotational power. So the electric motor has completely evolved and be re-engineered and reinvented and redeveloped and refined for 200 years. And it still requires electricity. The idea of motor flux is that we want to extract power from the force stored in permanent magnets. The motor flux principle gives us a way to get a magnetic field to rotate and give us torque. It was patented two years ago, been developing it ever since and now we're ready to show it to the world. The unique design of the Motoflux motor uses three separate components. Located in the center is the radial field director. The director is bracketed on both sides by the permanent magnets built into the armature, thus creating clean lines of flux that run through the armature and around the stator. The radial director and armature are connected only by magnetism. On the outside are the pole tips of the ferrous metal stator. The dotted lines indicate the magnetic lines of flux at this stage of the motor's cycle. Just like our own planet, the lines travel from south to north and seek the shortest path of completion. In this stage, they are taking the shortest line through the ferrous steel. To begin the process of creating torque, the radial director is actuated and begins to turn inside the armature. This rotation distorts the magnetic lines. The lines now travel through the director and armature magnets and seek a cleaner, shorter path. This path is found via the next magnetic pole tip. Now the lines are distorted again as they have found a more efficient path through the stator. The tightening of the magnetic lines causes the armature to be pulled forward, which brings the motor flux motor back to a pure circuit. The lines are once again traveling through the motor in the shortest manner possible. This process is repeated for each pole tip around the motor flux stator. By keeping the director in constant rotation in front of the armature, we achieve mechanical power using just the energy of the permanent magnets. This is our M1 motor. This is actually the director. This is made out of laminations of ferrous steel. This is actually a permanent magnet right here. And out here is the ferrous poles. So you turn that, you can see how it actually goes ahead of the time. And then the magnet catches up with it because it wanted to shorten the magnetic lines of flux in the circuit. So I can show you again. See the director always has to move first and then the armature follows it. So this is um, the M3 experiment, which is a good way to show you the pole tips they're laminated, and by being laminated, that helps the magnetic lines of flux stay in control better. We got three magnets on each side of this one. You see how they have a orientation to the pole tip? So by turning this shaft, you, you know, see how I turn it a little bit and then the armature wants to follow it. So I can't even hold that back. It's so powerful. So the, um, this is the motor flux principle. Now it goes into the hands of motor engineers and designers. So you use the motor flux principle to make power from the force stored in permanent magnets. And then each company or each engineer will design a motor with the motor flux principle for the needs that they have.